The additional information essay, also commonly known as the anything else essay, is the broadest of all the medical school secondary essay categories. It's a bit of a catch-all for whatever information you haven't already disclosed in your other essays for a given school. It's often optional, and when you're working against the clock, you might be eager to go ahead and submit your secondary applications as soon as possible, rather than bother with a prompt that's not even required. But what a lot of applicants fail to realize is that additional information essays can sometimes be your chance to tip the scales in your favor and win over adcoms. In this video, we'll point out a few common types of additional information essay prompts, then we'll discuss how you can determine the best approach for responding to these prompts if you need to respond at all. And finally, we'll show you how to turn a disjointed, bland additional information essay into one that's a crucial component of your overall application. This video is part of our six video series designed to prepare you for the most common med school secondary essay prompts. The diversity essay, the adversity essay, the why us essay, the gap year essay, the leadership essay, and the additional information essay. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to see our new resources with all the latest updates and guidance on med school admissions. Additional information prompts encompass a wide range of topics and questions, so it's important that you familiarize yourself with them before you dive into the writing process. This way, you can get a grasp on what they're asking for, whether you should respond if they're optional, and how you can best present your additional information in an efficient and compelling way. In general, the majority of additional information essays will serve one of the following purposes to elaborate on your extracurriculars, to explain lacking academic or extracurricular history, or to disclose any further information you feel is relevant to your application. To illustrate this, let's take a look at a few examples of additional information prompts that cover each of these areas and discuss how to approach each of them. The University of California, San Francisco School of Medicine's prompt reads, if you wish to update or expand upon your activities, you may provide additional information below. You have 500 words to respond. Even though this prompt is technically optional, we strongly recommend responding to it. But resist the temptation to simply rehash your work and activity section here. You'll want to take some time to think about whether you have any new experiences or accomplishments to share with outcomes that weren't included in your primary application or your other secondary prompts for this school. In addition to those details, we also recommend choosing a few of your most significant activities, like the ones that felt most meaningful to you, or the ones that are most closely related to your goals as a future physician, and providing additional context for them. Identify two or three anecdotes you could tell that illustrate why these experiences were so meaningful to you. You may find that you've already done some of this work by following the guidance in our Essential Pre-Writing Strategies video. Another prompt from St. Louis University School of Medicine takes a slightly different approach to the additional information essay. It reads, Do you wish to include any comments to the St. Louis University SLU, School of Medicine Admissions Committee? For example, why you chose to apply to SLU, other extenuating circumstances, etc. You get 1,000 characters to respond. This prompt is technically optional too, but if you take a look through the other secondary prompts in SLU's application, you'll notice they don't have any that fall under the Why Us category. For this reason, we encourage you to take advantage of the opportunity to treat this as a Why Us essay and demonstrate your fit for SLU. It could go a long way in helping distinguish yourself from other applicants who didn't bother to take the time to respond. This prompt also mentions that you may use this essay to describe any extenuating circumstances related to your journey to medical school. This term is open to interpretation, but we only recommend taking this route for this essay if you've experienced something in the past few years which had a significant negative impact on your academic performance or extracurricular involvement. A couple of B's or even a C on your transcripts are most likely not worth mentioning, but an illness, injury, extreme financial difficulty, or loss of a loved one might be. Our final example prompt comes from Boston University Chobanyan and Avedisian School of Medicine. It reads, Please provide a narrative or timeline to describe any features of your educational history that you think may be of particular interest to us. For example, have you lived in another country or experienced a culture unlike your own or worked in a field that contributed to your understanding of people unlike yourself? Or have you experienced advanced training in any area, including the fields of art, music, or sports? This is an opportunity to describe learning experiences that may not be covered in other areas of this application or your MCAS application. It is not necessary to write anything in this section. Also, use this section to explain any impact that COVID-19 may have had on your educational slash research slash volunteering or employment plans. You have 2,000 characters to respond. This prompt is also optional, and it covers just about all of the potential topics for an additional information essay. On one hand, it's nice that it leaves things open-ended. The ADCOM emphasizes that they're not only looking for details 
related strictly to your academics. They also want to know about interesting life experiences, unique aspects of your upbringing, or skills and hobbies that you've invested significant effort into that are unrelated to your medical career plans. And they even mention that you can explain how COVID impacted your path to medical school if necessary. But on the other hand, this prompt might give you a bit of decision paralysis due to all the possible directions you could take your essay if you decide to respond at all. Nearly any applicant could come up with material for it, but because it's optional, you should really only respond if after reviewing the rest of the essays you've written, you find that you still have meaningful experiences to share with the adcom. It can also be helpful to sift through any pre-writing work you've done in order to determine whether there are unique aspects of the school, like research or clinical opportunities, that you feel would be a great fit for you, but you weren't able to naturally mention in any of your other essays. And finally, ask yourself whether there are any essays you've written for other schools that contain relevant information you still haven't had a chance to share with this school. The bottom line is, if you choose to respond to an optional prompt, it should enhance the rest of your application. Adcoms already have hundreds of essays to read through, so they don't want to read an unnecessary essay any more than you want to write one. You'll also want to make sure your essay is still related to your plans for pursuing medicine. For example, if you decide to write about growing up in another country, working with people from a different cultural background than your own, or playing college sports, your essay should explain how this experience equipped you with unique perspectives and skills that have prepared you to be a great med student and future doctor. And if you write about how COVID or another challenging circumstance posed an obstacle to your path toward med school, be sure to approach the writing process like you would for an adversity essay. Explain what actions you took to overcome the obstacle, what you learned, and how it will impact the way you handle challenges in medical school and beyond. In addition to familiarizing yourself with the various types of essay prompts that could appear in your secondary applications, also be sure to visit our Secondary Essay Premium Example Hub, where you can browse over 1,000 sample essays responding to every prompt required by every medical school in the US and Canada. Now that we've covered the various types of additional information essay prompts, let's take a look at an example of a scattered and unfocused first draft essay in response to the Boston University prompt. In college, I spent a long time trying to choose between the humanities and medicine. I declared as a history of science and medicine major at the beginning of junior year, but I also spent a considerable amount of my free time engaged in artistic and journalistic endeavors, unable to make a decision about the path for my future. The first error in this draft of the essay is the language the applicant uses to describe their struggle to find a balance between their interests in the humanities and medicine. Stating that they were unable to make a decision about their future plans risks giving outcomes the impression that they aren't fully committed to medicine or even that they still haven't chosen between the two. Next, the applicant writes, as a sophomore, I became a writer for my university student newspaper because I want to explore my writing abilities while also making a positive contribution to my campus community. I'm proud of the work I produced in that role, and even though it required countless hours of interviews, writing, and editing, I'm confident that I made a positive impact on the student body through my work. I also audited a few classes, simply for the sake of learning new skills outside of the pre-med curriculum. Although these classes aren't directly relevant to my career in medicine, I believe they've made me a more well-rounded student and individual, broadening my horizons on subjects from religion to photography to acting. The applicant's description of their time working for the student newspaper and auditing classes is interesting, but it leaves readers with more questions than answers. What particular accomplishments as a writer for the student newspaper is the applicant most proud of? Why? In what way did the classes they took make them a well-rounded individual? Why is it important to be well-rounded as a future doctor? And perhaps most importantly, how did each of these experiences influence their journey toward a career in medicine? The next paragraph reads, This year, I'll be putting my acting skills to use as a theater camp counselor for neuroatypical kids. Performance has taught me so many things about how to be a confident and self-motivated young adult, and I'm so excited to pass along the magic to them. This detail about the applicant's upcoming plans is interesting, but it's not immediately clear what responsibilities the camp counselor role entails or how the applicant hopes to make a positive impact on the kids they work with. Moving on to the final two paragraphs, they read, Sometimes it has been difficult to juggle my rigorous pre-med classes along with my extracurricular priorities, but I've learned to balance them over the past few years and I've grown tremendously along the way. I have always known I want to be a doctor and I was pre-med from the first day of college. But now I know that I can pursue both of my passions, medicine and the humanities, instead of having to choose between them. 
I'm grateful for what the past four years have taught me and I'm excited to carry my passion for these two fields into my time as a medical student. Instead of tying up loose ends, the conclusion of the essay continues to gloss over the applicant's journey. It never clearly states how all of the experiences in the essay have helped the applicant make the definitive decision to pursue medicine. And although it briefly mentions that they learn how to balance medicine and the humanities, it fails to explain how they intend to maintain that balance in their future career or how their dedication to the humanities will make them a better doctor. How can the ADCOM be confident that this applicant is fully dedicated to medicine and won't change their mind halfway through medical school? Taking what we know about all the weak points in the first draft, let's now analyze a revised final version of this same essay that successfully responds to the prompt while adding new relevant insights into the applicant's unique perspectives and life experiences. As an undergraduate, I split my time between the humanities and medicine. On weekday afternoons and evenings, I was in the lab. On weekend nights, I was performing in theater productions and hosting literary events. I was a pre-med student from my first semester, but it took me a while to figure out where the two sides of myself intersect. In this version of the introduction, the applicant has left out all of the language about being unsure of whether they wanted to pursue a career in medicine. Instead, they paint a picture of how they occupied their time pursuing both of their fields of interest. Then with the final sentence, they tell the ATCOM that this essay is going to reveal how their interests actually intersect rather than working against each other. The next section reads, as a sophomore, I became a staff writer for my university student newspaper. I'm most proud of a piece I wrote analyzing mental health outcomes among college students who received more than five years of extracurricular arts education as children. Then, last summer, I audited a class at Harvard Divinity School to learn more about pastoral care. There, I met ministers, rabbis, imams, priests, and secular spiritual leaders trying to discover better ways to help people age happily from a non-clinical perspective. This summer, I'll be starting a new position as a theater camp counselor for neuroatypical kids. I'm excited to pass along to them my love for the arts as I show them how to express themselves, regulate their emotions, and stay active through storytelling, music, and dance. Here, instead of mentioning several seemingly unrelated activities and giving vague descriptions of why they enjoyed them, the applicant gives concrete examples of their goals, experiences, and accomplishments within those activities. They also choose to focus on just one of the classes they audited, rather than all three, so they can use their limited number of allowed characters to make a point about how the class with the religious leaders provided them with a unique perspective on patient care. If they had a longer character limit for the essay, the applicant probably could have identified skills they learned in their photography and acting classes that would also translate well into a medical career. But in the interest of space, it's best to focus on the most relevant experiences. Moving on to the conclusion, it reads, At Chobanyan and Avedisyan, I want to continue incorporating multidisciplinary perspectives as I learn how to care for all aspects of my future patient's well-being. I'm especially excited to join the Arts Lab, where I can join their efforts to enhance clinical spaces by preparing personalized musical and dramatic performances for high-risk patients and coordinating lullaby songwriting workshops for new parents. I've always known I want to be a doctor, but following both threads of my passion has shown me the importance of seeing and treating patients as full people, people with interests and needs that go far deeper than their physical symptoms. In these final two paragraphs, the applicant concludes by restating their dedication to medicine and highlighting why they believe that even their non-medical extracurriculars have helped prepare them to be a great future doctor. They also managed to go above and beyond the requirements of the prompt by demonstrating their fit for the school. The additional information essay can seem intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. The best approach is to tackle it after you've completed all of your other essays for a given school, so you can be sure that it adds valuable information to your application without repeating anything. Following the strategies and guidelines in this video, you can efficiently brainstorm to determine which piece of additional information is worth including in your essay. For more secondary essay examples and analyses, visit our secondary essay premium example hub where you can browse sample essays in response to every single prompt required by every medical school in the US and Canada. There are over 1,000 essays in total. And be sure to check out the other videos in our YouTube secondary series to learn more step-by-step -step strategies for tackling the six most common secondary essay prompts. Happy writing.